In this video, we're going to create an Atnum Leaves brush in a Flame Painter 4. Let's begin by cleaning our workspace if you have one. We'll have it new. Just select one default and click OK. So in this case, we reset. Next step, I want to create a new layer and it needs to be vector based. So right here on the bottom, we go and click and add vector based. Do you see that by this squiggling line on top? That is what we needed reason why we want to use it so we can preview our brush as we're working example let's go click on the normal layer and we'll just select one of the brush and start painting so after i'm finished paint if i modify any properties i cannot see or preview them let's do same things on a vector we'll select this layer and i'm going to just paint right here at this moment if i'm going and click on edit vector layer now, if I modify any properties, you can see, I can see uh, they're visible in real time for me, those modifications. So let's go back. And that's what we're going to use. Okay, right now we have our layer selected. Let's, for now, just take layer one and remove it. We don't need it. So layer two is our vector based, and that's what we're going to use. For this, we're also a brush creator tool. So if you don't have open, You'll just can go right in the bottom right where it says show brush creator tool or going from the window and click from there. So, but I'm going to click on the icon. It will expand for me. Let me go to take the, my brush library a little bit down because we want going to use it right now. Okay. At this moment, we have our stroke for the, on a vector uh, layer brushes and we enable our edit mode edit vector layer. You can also press um, hotkey M. Particle system will go use it fuzzy for this. And right on the bottom where we have its shape, we want to go to select a dotted line. So in this case, we will select a particles that we're going to place. Also in said sequence, we can use it dots. As a dots, when we're doing, let's click select use the image. So we're going to use it image. And now I need uploaded my brushes. You can see some pre-cached, okay, but we'll go use it. Some different brush system. To upload the brush system, we need to go open and preload it. Right here, I have my collections of the leaves that I already uh, created. And by the way, if you need to find where um, some of those leaves, flowers, or maybe other things. I downloaded mine from Ivanto Elements. And it's very easy. You can subscribe to this service, which allowed you to download images, uh, sounds, any other things. And you can use them with a license in your projects, which is actually very nice. They have very good collections. They're not sponsoring me. Um, so that is service I'm just using by myself, and I'm paying uh, for them fee to use this actually but i did find this actually quite a bit useful when you need very fast find or do other things or you can go and photo shoot by yourself and create other elements but just overall this is why i'm using those leaves and i went to photoshop created um remove the background and extract those separate leaves so i created them as individual images and right here you can see so for this, we'll go select some of this. We'll go click open. Okay, right here, one image. Let's go to uh, image two. And we'll go right there. We'll preload image two. Okay. Let's go now to add one more. Click on plus. We'll go preload it. And we'll just select different images. Overall, I want to be sure they kind of look a little bit different shapes. So we'll add one more. And we'll go select another image. So you can see we have it all as one, two, three, four images. It's maximum we can add as a dots using for a brush. And they already come and replay on our path. So next, what I want to do, it is adjust a little bit opacity for our dots. So right now we're 100%. We could increase our size a little bit. So we'll have it smaller and bigger, but be careful with this because some of them can be a little bit too small. But overall, we'll add probably around on the middle. Okay, also opacity. 
Um, overall, this is a pass will apply not necessarily to the link of the brush, how it's going. So we, for example, if we take zero, you can see they all will be same opacity. And if we add again, we'll just bring a little bit maybe to the middle. So we still have it some opacity jaggering, but it won't be um, that dramatic. Okay, spacing, how is the spread around? We can have it at maximum spacing spread around, but I think in this case, we'll just actually bring more down, maybe set around 10. So we'll have it um, closer. And again, when we preview in real life, that's what I like to do this. You can see it's maybe a little bit too much of that. So let's go increase to about 100. Right here we have, but again, this is maybe a little bit too much. So we want increase spacing a little bit more. Okay, that is too much spacing. Bring back to 250. I think this is about right spacing I wanted. Spacing jarring, same, we can play around with this to see applied and we'll just add maybe a little bit down. We can see the clumping. And right now we have it no scattering. If we add scattering, we'll start spraying from the line as going from our path, we start scattering around them. So let's go, for example, if we put it a lot of, you can see how they're going. And we can bring probably about on 20 and adjusting. Okay, this is about what I want to create. Also not we're on a blending mode lighting. We can always switch to the normal for our particles darken if we use it the other background but i think for now we'll just leave it as normal and opacity we can increase or decrease our opacity based on this but let's bring a little bit higher so we'll have a little bit brighter colors okay now we can start working on our adjustments so the size let's bring size a little bit higher so i want preview leaves itself and you can see we have it already Nice, beautiful leaves applied. Link for the stroke. Again, we can bring just a little bit closer, but problem is with this link, we start having overlays kind of fun in some areas. Maybe not a little bit down. Okay, increase on the radius. So we'll have it a little bit bigger as we're painting around. And I think this is about right what I want to create. Again, we could increase, depend on how you want um, your brush going if you want more wendy we can increase speed on this case depend how with your brush stroke it will apply different and we can play with those ones a little bit later with the sum of the speed noise and speed adjustments and everything okay so let's go right here adjusting yeah let's add a little bit speed noise so we just spread them a little bit more around okay the coloring as a coloring, we can go inside the palette and right here we have it all different, already pre-made for us. We can use it some of this, but I want to create my atom. So I will just, to make it easy, I will select one that closer res uh, resemble. And by modifying the colors on top, remember which one is highlighted, those is most important. We can add more of them by enabling. So first color, when we select, and I'm going to modify, add a little bit less saturated color, more as leaves. Okay, next we'll select one more, next one. And you know what, let's go actually a little bit to the greenish even color. Same, a little bit less saturated. So we can modify kind of almost atom colors to do this. Okay, next we can go select the last color here. And you know, let's bring this little bit greener color no no this one green probably it's fine but right in the middle i will enable one more but i want this a little bit more reddish so just add all of these different colors and i think this color is suit very well if you like a gradient whether you create it you can always add um, additional to save your gradient library by clicking on a gradient and click on a plus so it will add your gradient to your collection okay so when we create a brush we for example we like it it is at the point when i think we can use it and this you want to save your brush now 
So to do this, we'll go on a bottom icon where it says plus. Go we'll click on a plus and it will bring us to the tool where we can draw brush icon. So right, for example, if you don't like it, Example right here, maybe paint. Let's look. I think this is will be more as a paint kind of brush. And again, if you don't like it, let's just try one more time. I'll start from here. Just go like this. There you go. This is much better looking icon name. Let's go call this fall leaves. And a type, I think, paint, leaves, fall. You can add additional tags. When we're done, let's go ahead and click on save. And now we have this brush added. So let's go scroll down. Right here, we have our fall leaves. So we created our new brush that we can use it. So let's go ahead. We'll create a new layer. And we'll just create a normal layer so we don't need modify can select our leaves brush and this point I can go just painting and you can see right here we have it our leaves so this is will be nice overlay if you're creating like uh, scenery portraits and we can put it over and we probably do this going to use in a, some project this leaves as well you can create it a snowflakes example and using snowflakes instead there okay the one other things I want point so when I start painting, you'll notice right here, the leaves look exactly the same. The reason why you will need enable a random order from our four. So example, let's disable this one. We'll click on random order enable. And at this point, when we start painting, you can see this all different four different leaves is applied at this. So just the small things that need to be checked when you want to use a different leaves. And again, if you just want to use one specific leaf, you can select paint to just add this one leaf. You can go check different ones, maybe paint that leaf. And again, if you want to make mix them together from sequence of four, just select this way and there you go. We have all of these different leaves painting for us. So thank you for watching this uh, video and uh, please put it your comment in a video or send more requests if you want to see any specific tutorials.